I'm here with my pink gloves again. <laughs> Welcome to the Kirsty Meekin Show! But today, we have Andrea in and... Andrea's not had her nails done for quite some time because I've been on holiday, I've had COVID and we've had a, we had a little bit of a break from filming. So. Wow. Wow. Show me with the other hand as well. Come on, just look. Wow. Wow. Check them out for natural nails. So while I was away, um, you, you did have somebody soak your nails off, didn't mm -hmm. you? Yeah. Oh, these, they tell you what, faded this to me as well. I went to another nail technician. <gasps> no, it's fine. I was on holiday. What what, what are you supposed to do? Well, you me? had COVID as well. And I had COVID, yeah. And then Cassidy had COVID. Yeah. So we were like... Oh, did Cassidy get ill as well? Yeah, Cassidy's oh, had COVID as well. well yeah. I suppose everyone's in the house together, it's going to happen. Yeah. So, yeah, and Alicia had already had it. So, yeah. Um, so, these are Andrea's nails. What I'm going to do... So, she's had them soaked off. And she had some gel polish off, so we soaked the gel polish off. This one, you've knocked, didn't you? Yeah. So you can see it's slightly damaged, a bit bruised. It's got a slight hairline crack. So, because she's managed to grow them so long, we didn't want to just lob them off. What we want to do is add some strength. So we're going to do an acrylic overlay with... Nail career education acrylic system. Woo! So Susie kindly sent me her little acrylic kit, and I'm pretty excited to be having a play with this because I'm not used to it yet. It's literally stayed in the box. So we're gonna do an acrylic overlay on Andrea to strengthen those long nails with this product. So this is the fast set which I love because I do like, you know, I, I'm pretty quick. Not blowing my own trumpet, but, you know, when you've been doing nails for over 20 years, you get a bit quick. <laughs> so, um, so if you're a newbie, I think Susie's just brought out another one that's slower setting as well. So she's got two different options for your liquid. It's in a nice glass bottle. I kind of feel like it reminds me, it's like vintage. Yeah. It reminds me of like a vintage kind of packaging. Um... We've got a nice little card from Susie here. This is the primer. And then we've got a dehydrator as well. Are they glass or plastic? Oh, I can't figure that out. <laughs> I think it's plastic. I think it's That's yeah, plastic. plastic. Just, just checking. You know, I, like, I love packaging, so... Um, we've got a you know, Maya file, buffer, buffer actually, not a file, a buffer because um, you can buy Susie's kit from this brand, their website. And then we've got, this is soft white, it's hard to see to be honest, you've got to kind of move the powder away so you can see what it says. And then we've got pink tint so that'll be a transparent pink and we've got foundation pink which will be like a cover pink and then i presume this is clear yeah we've got clear as well so which color shall we use i kind of want to see what the foundation pink's like i think that'll be nice it'll give everything just one that one color tone rather than using the transparent pink. What do you think, Andrea? Yeah, absolutely fine by me. Yeah, cool. I'll leave it with you. Right then, so we can leave those colours there. So what we're going to do first of all is, I've done cuticle prep on Andrea, but I haven't prepped the actual nail. I've not filed it or anything like that. So what I'm going to do is use our sanding bands. They come in two different grips, so you've got fine and medium we're going to use the fine which is a 240 grit the purple sanding bands are made from ceramic particles what? The sticker on. no it's not got the sticker on today i've just been really <laughs> with my gloves <laughs> <laughs> so 
So they're made from ceramic particles, so they reduce the heat that is created while working with it. And they are absolutely gorgeous. I've got them on the mandrel bit, which has the AB Swarovski crystal. Just, I'm sorry. Just how on. nice does this all look in the background with the purple sanding band? What a beautiful shot that is, sorry. So, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wipe over with the clean up solution, which was also a dehydrator. I'm just doing this because I just wanna clean the nail up before I hit it with the sanding band. So this is our clean up solution. Don't you just love the packaging? I do love that colour. It's colours. so nice. Beautiful. I can't believe how long your nails have grown. I know. You've done so well. Did you ever think they would have long natural nails? No. No. And I these don't think I've just... ever done this. I don't think I've ever had an acrylic overlay. No, I don't think you have. No. Even back in the day when, no. you, when you were, I was going to say, just a client. Yeah. But you know, no, I didn't. You know what I mean? No. I've always had tips or sculpts, haven't I? Yeah. So I'm going to set the e-file to three. So it's not going fast. It's in the forward motion. And we're literally just going to skip over the natural nail. You do not need hardly any pressure. You just need to make contact. And this is going to take off the surface shine, which will enable the product to adhere to the natural nail. So we're going to do that on all the nails. And you'll notice that they go like a chalky white colour. And that'll indicate that you have definitely abrased so you can see the difference between the two. You can see that one's like a chalky colour and the other one is not. So I do go around the cuticle area first. It's really important to make sure that that area is fully abrased. So it's important to get really nice and tight round that cuticle area and then use the full length of the bit to then skip over the natural nail. Yeah, you know, one of the reasons that we're doing this overlay is to add strength because once your nails kind of get this kind of length, they definitely need a little bit of strength. So as we prep this nail, we will see that little bit of damage. And you just see there, we've got that little split. So, and I'm just gonna use the very tip to make sure that that area is prepped. That and not the head, it's on the draw. You know? Oh yeah, uh, dead on. Yeah. What we will do is build this strength. So if you've just got natural nails and if this long and you've got um, gel polish on don't get me wrong you might have super strong nails but not everybody does have super strong natural nails so doing this kind of service will make them stronger which means your client can grow their nails even longer plus like Andrea just said when she hit that nail and you hit them like this on the surface especially when you're cleaning and things like that and you can hit them you know you've got the strength of the acrylic there holding on and making everything nice and strong so i'm going to use our dust brush which i just love because it's so big yeah it's so big it's so fluffy oh just look at it and i'm going to use it on a slow speed i've literally got it on one yeah and with this we can i hope Maybe put it on two. That was a little bit slow. Maybe three? That's better. That's it. It's on three now. It wanted to stop too much on when it was set on one. So I'm literally getting rid of all the dust off the nails. 
and you can you, you can buy this on his own, but you can also buy it with the. Can you buy it individually, Adam? No, or it is comes it with, with the debulk bit. That's yeah. what you would use for, isn't it? Like debulking yeah. and then cleaning. Yeah. Right. Before I dust any more, I'm getting carried away with the dusty brush because I just like it so much. I think it feels really nice on your fingers, I love it, it as well. Yeah, it's I love like it. a massage. Yeah. <laughs> Nice. I'm going to set up my file, so I'm going to put a 240 on one side and a 180 on the other side. And what you can do is, some people, because it's flat on the ground or the table, they find it hard to line up. If you pop it on top of, a, of our, one of our buffers, it's higher. It makes it easier to get lined up. So we're going to peel the sticky layer off. And pop it onto, oh, pop it onto that centre board. And you can see we've lined that up lovely. So because the because your fingers can fit either side, whereas if it's flat, it's harder to sort of get it down there. But if it's on the file, sorry, the buffer. It makes it higher and it's so much easier to get your get your replaceable file papers lined up perfectly. I literally just drop that. And then I have a file that I saved just to take off those sharp edges. And then that metal centre board can be used many, many times. And then between the clients, you can remove your file paper, making it super clean, super hygienic, COVID safe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a 240 grit file to shape these nails now. So as I look at this thumb, can you see how it's... If I get it on the overhead camera, we should be able to see it. Can you see how it's slightly going this way? It's slightly winging off this way. So... I'm going to counteract that a little bit. What shape do you want them? Don't mind. Do you want them this shape or do you want them square? But if you go square, you'd have to go shorter. Um, this shape's fine. This shape's fine. Yeah. This sort of oval yeah. shape. Okay. So you want your side walls nice and straight. So can you see how this one comes in? So we're just going to have to take a little bit off this side, just to straighten that up. And you're looking at the finger as well, not just those side walls to get it nice and straight. You want to look at the length of the finger. Okay, so we're going to do this on all the nails, even them out. So look at this one. So that one's going that way. Now this happens with my mum's nails. She's got a couple of fingers that, that they actually, when she has a fill, mm -hmm. the fill line is like this. Mm. Because it twists like that yeah. as it goes. Yeah. So let's get this. Evened up. That's because people's nails are individual as well, aren't they? They it's are, not just the personality stuff. Yes. And one thing that I've noticed with your thumbs is, if you, if you show me your other thumb as well, I want to see the curvature. Oh, God, I need to get you in the right. Or do you want what, it to what, what do you want me to do? There. Hold on. Oh, like that. I want, so can you see how one side curves down more? Not so much on that one. Need to get it that. Really? Yeah, it does curve down that side more. And then show me the other one. Can you see how it's got a more of a curvature? Sort of where your thumb is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So this has got a a tighter C curve. 
But as I follow this down, it curves this side more. And when I look here, this one curves this side more. I wish you could see what I can see. And that's why I twist. Because this curves down this side and this curves down this side. So then they twist like that. See the difference? Mm -hmm. That one curves in this way more. Yeah. But the beauty of putting acrylic on, we can pinch them a little bit. Yeah. We can kind of manipulate that shape a little yeah, bit as so well. So they're more symmetrical. Yes. So let's dust with my favourite thing. So I've got it on three. I can go underneath really easily as well with this. I like this. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. And we sell it with the debulking bit because using the debulking bit really does create a lot of dust. Okay, so we're going to wipe over with the cleanup solution. And I'm going to make sure those cuticles are pushed back. So I finish off with a push back. I don't pull down. Push, push, push back. Push, 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 push back. Yeah, you don't want to start pulling them down. So we're going to dehydrate and prime now. So the dehydrator first. Oh. Oh no. Did it fall off? What was it? The brush. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. I think it just wasn't pushed in enough. Yeah, because that's fine now. So let's dehydrate. So we're just pulling that on the natural nail. You don't want to make contact with the skin. Okay, let's look at the colour. Now I want to do this in one bead. Now, the majority of that just ran down. Didn't have to do a lot of work, but I'm going to take some off because that's a little bit much. Get that cuticle area nice and neat. So you have minimal filing. You want to keep this quite thin, so I'm definitely going to take off a little bit. You still want this to look natural, but it's adding a whole heap of strength to the nail. You're still going to have an apex in the back third of the nail. So can you see? We have that apex here. Nice and thin on application. I need to get your thumb on camera. Like. So that's the thinness of the application. So let's do the rest. Okay, I'm going to go slightly higher my angle just so I can get a smaller bead. So when my brush makes contact with the powder, it's going to be at a slightly higher angle. I find that the liquid does pick up a lot of product. It's a nice colour though. Still think that's still a little bit big. So again, nice and thin on application. Right, so now I'm going to go in, I'm going to drag and splay my brush a little bit. And nice high angle. Two, three, let's see if this is the right size. Because this is a new product, even, you know, it takes me a while to get used to. So when people say, oh, acrylic's just acrylic and it's all the same, it's definitely not. That 
Brill, that's a perfect size. Because it's a thin application, if I go on with a pinching tool, I definitely need to monitor that. Because if I just leave it like that, that's going to be painful, isn't it? Yeah, because it's so thin. Yeah. I would literally need to hold it on and not let it do the full pressure. Hold that pressure and monitor what it's doing. So it's not one of these ones where you can just pop it on and then move to the next one? No. Now, when you're doing extensions, the application's a lot thicker, so it can hold that and it's not going to hurt your client. I suppose also when it's natural as well, you're now having to, because it's on the natural nail, you're now having to actually shape each one so that they're the same, because obviously your tips would all be the same shape. And mm. your sculpting forms. And the sculpting forms would all be the same shape, mm -hmm. yeah. whereas your nails aren't. No. So if, if it was like sort of somebody doing this beginner-wise, would you ex expect them to do sort of one nail at a time so that they can get that one done? You then... don't you don't have to pinch. Mm -hmm. You don't have to pinch. But I want to pinch because I just want them to appear to be a little bit slimmer and I want to, like, make all the curves yeah, that's very what similar. Yeah, that's yeah. wanted to, but would you sort of then recommend somebody who's maybe a little bit slower at, at doing, doing nails to... Do one at a time, maybe, or two Well, you've two got to, time. I've put that full application on and then now I'm pinching, whereas whenever I was, if I'm doing an extension, I'd put it on and then I'd work on the next one, then I'd go back and pinch. So I'd, be, yeah. I'd work on this one, I'd go back, pinch that. I'd work on this one, I'd go back, pinch that. Whereas this, because it's not taken long to do it all, I'm still right. at that malleable stage okay. where I can pinch. Yeah. So the timing's still okay. Yeah, the timing's still okay. I mean, it's it says high speed, but it's, it's, is it? it I, maybe I'm just not noticing that it's high speed because I'm doing such a, a smaller Slow. area than yeah. I'm used to. So even if you're a beginner and you've got this high speed one, you know, have a go at doing, you know, a natural nail overlay because it's not super fast that it won't allow you to have time to do that but maybe if you were doing a full sort of long nail extension then we'd notice that it does sort of you know set a little bit quicker so with this one i want to add a little bit on the end then it's probably going to be what one two mil if i was going oh, to so you're going to actually add length to it yeah oh. so pick up the bead I'm going to concentrate on that cuticle area, not even going to worry about the tip just yet because I want the product here to start to set. So I'm just tucking at the minute to make sure everything's nice and neat because it will naturally want to fall to the sides. And then this bulk of product here We want that to be at a stage where it's sort of setting. So it doesn't drip. Yes. Mm. So we can tease this now beyond the tip. So I'm coming side to side to side like this. I'm going to monitor underneath. 
So pull, pull, kick it up, pull, pull, kick it up. And let's look underneath. And you can see There you can see that I've extended it there. So if you look at it compared to another one that's got product on, you can see we've extended that. So don't be like too, oh God, I need to put a sculpting form on. Just really control your product. Concentrate on your cuticle area. And then as it starts to become firmer, start to tease it down in your label, just to tease that out and just add that little bit of length. Top tip from the Meekster. Because a lot of people would take the rest of the nails down to meet that length. And you don't have to do that. Especially if you want to keep that length. And then you think, well, that one's a bit shorter, so I'm going to have to take all the rest down to that length. You know, and that client really wants to have that length and keep that nice long nail. Because, you know, we've grown them. Yeah, You've grown them yeah. under your acrylics, haven't yes, you? Yes, yeah. So, it's a good little, mm. little trick. I probably would have thought you'd have to take them down. A lot of people do. Yeah, and it's it just I think it's just a natural thing yeah, to do. Yeah, it wouldn't occur to me, but then again, not an nail tech. Not an nail tech, not me. Right, so filing time. So I've got the 180 grit side, which I can use on the product now. And I'm just gonna titivate, make everything nice and smooth. I'm actually going to go around the cuticle area with the 240 grit file, which is absolutely perfect for such a thin application. People get hal bent thinking, hal bent, is that even a language yeah. that's used yeah. in other countries? Um, people get hal bent on using a 100 grit file for literally everything that they do. You do not need to do that. There are very good reasons why we have different grits because they serve many different purposes. So this is a thin application. So you do not want to use a 100 grit. I'm just using a 240 and a 180. That's all you need. It's a thin application. You don't want to start eating away at too much product. But the 240 is so nice to just use around that cuticle area. You know that if you hit the natural nail, you're only hitting it with a 240 grit. So you're not going to cause any damage. You're looking after your client. Thank you. You're welcome. God love you. <laughs> Thank you. Love you too. So we're going to do that on all the nails. They're all pretty much the same. So there's nothing different I'm going to do. So we're just going to waz through that now. I won't bore you to tears. And so I'm going to put the buffer on. So I can buff Andrea's nails. So they still look very natural. I'm going to buff them. And the, because we've done the application nice and thin, I actually really like this colour because it's taking on the colour of the natural nail as well. So it's not completely opaque. Obviously, if you put this on thicker, if you apply this product thicker, then it will definitely be more opaque, if not completely opaque. But we'll do that in another video and we'll give it a test because... I like working with different brands. You know me, I like trying lots of different stuff. Um, but yeah, I like how you can, you know, you can sort of see the natural nails through it as well. You know what I mean? I can see. Mm. I like that. I think that's really nice. So I'm giving them a good dusting. Right, so I'm going to wipe over with the cleanup solution. Lovely, get them nice and clean. And then we can get them ready for gel polish application. But for this video, this is pretty much the end. I'm going to put a bit of oil on just so Andrea can have a little bit of a break in a bit of oil. Um, I've got the NAF Pro oil. It does go thicker when it's cold though, see how it gets a bit thick, so it does need to be in a warm environment. 
Oh, let's put your rubby that in. And you can have a little look. See now, the shape, oh my God. Like the shape is so much better. Be nice and strong. So there we are guys. That is how to do. Oh, that one very good, just put that on there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's how to do an acrylic overlay using Nail Career Education's acrylic line, which is lovely. So yeah, um, everything will be linked below if you want to know where we got everything from that we've used today. And yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Please keep watching. Hello, See, the international crowd, this is a variation of tea in England. This is British tea and the big variation that people will have. I like my milky, Andrea does not. I mean, I think maybe the rationing in their house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you know what? You wouldn't be far wrong.